to Me Style TV. It's the 2024 Cannes Film Festival. This year, we celebrate the 77th Cannes Film Festival from May 17th to May 25th. The annual cinematic extravaganza generates so much buzz around the fashionable moments of the year, with celebrities embracing the French Riviera glamour on the red carpet and the city's cobble streets. This year, we can expect the biggest names in film to bring their A-game during the festival. There are no other film festivals as alluring as Cannes, where blockbusters and amateur-driven Oscar hopefuls alike debut for glamorous crowds along the painful picturesque croissette. This year, the slate features a number of buzzing premieres, including George Miller's Mad Max, Fury Road, a follow-up to Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, Francis Ford Coppola's long-awaited Megalopolis, and Yogos Lantimore's Quirky, will one of them wind up going as far in the award race as Anatomy of a Fall or The Zone of Interest, the 2023's festival biggest success stories? Well, only time will tell. Time and Vanity Fair's Richard Lawson and David Canfield, who are on ground at the Cannes 2024 red carpet, are fleeting from gala premieres to headline-grabbing interviews as they give an exclusive look at the festival's busiest and buzzing titles. Stay informed by subscribing to our channel for live updates from the Cannes Film Festival. Ashwara Rai takes over the Cannes red carpet in a dramatic Flangoni Shane Peacock gown. On the 23rd of May, Cher turns back time and rocks a black bodysuit. The legendary performer wore a sparkly, slinky suit, similar to the one she wore 35 years ago for her 1989 hit, If I Could Turn Back Time. This was at the annual AMFAR Gala on the same Thursday, the 23rd of May. The gala is one of the premier events linked to the Cannes Film Festival. It raises funds for AIDS research. Earlier in the evening, Cher hit the red carpet with her boo, Alexander Edwards, in a floor-length gown. Andy McDowell also walks the red carpet ahead of the Most Precious of Cargo's premiere screening at the 77th Annual Cannes Film Festival. Michelle Yeoh served up a whole new look while attending the Horizon, an American saga Cannes Film Festival premiere on Sunday. Not only was she wearing a new label in Bodega Veneta, she also sported a new hairstyle. But shame about the shoes. Lily Gladstone, a member of this year's jury, was a glitzy vision in Gucci. And Anya Taylor-Joy is a Dior darling in a ball gown. The actress stunned in an old Hollywood-inspired look on the second day of the film festival after sightings of her in town, her most recent being a Cher Giacomo's gown from its latest bridal collection. Many celebrities graced the red carpets this year. Oye Moss won the best script prize for her short film with deepest regrets at this year's Cannes Film Festival. Following two unsuccessful attempts to win the TikTok short film competition on Tuesday, TikTok, the official partners of the Cannes Film Festival, revealed the winners of the third edition of the TikTok short film competition. Still on the famous red carpet is Miss Kelly Rowland. The former Destiny's Child singer, who has gone to have a successful acting and solo singing career, has addressed a highly publicized incident at the Cannes Film Festival, where she argued with a festival usher, suggesting she was racially profiled. Roland, who was attending the premiere of Catherine Deneuve's film Marcelo Mio on Tuesday, where she smiled and waved to fans and photographers on the red carpet. She was then led up the stairs by an usher who seemed to have ticked Kelly up the wrong way, leading to some stern words and looks being delivered towards the direction of the usher by Miss Kelly Rowland. Hoping they've resolved their issues now. And there you have it, my lovelies. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
and remember to stay fabulous.